I see you're wearing a, a U2 shirt. I am, yeah, it's a... Uh, the Unforgettable Fire. Fire. Yeah, a lot of people think it, it's awesome for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, you like it, so you like U2? I do like U2. This was actually the only clean shirt that I had today, for the, and okay. I heard you guys were going to bring a camera, so I wanted to look nice for you, but... Um, yeah, we like you too. Yeah. What's with you two? Um, like? I like the longevity, I think. It's just as an artist, you respect anybody that can last for more than a record. Um, you know, like Springsteen and all those people are kind of in that category, you know, where they've just been here forever. And um, I think one of the reasons you 2s been around so long is that they've always like stayed true to themselves, despite everybody telling them they're bad or good or horrible or the best or whatever they just kind of keep keep progressing yeah and that's uh what you would like to uh, yeah i think also. i think it is the uh, the goal as an artist that you know we didn't think we'd we'd make enough money to ever quit working at starbucks and uh, to be here in holland interviewing now you know it's like total shock and uh, it's a bit of a surprise for, for anybody from, from a little town in Colorado. So, uh, yeah, longevity is definitely one of the things that, are, that we're thinking about. Okay, okay. Um, I read you, you all have a, a Christian background. Yeah, we do. We, uh, we all grew up um, in church singing and, uh, like, leading. I played piano and Joe um, like played guitar and sang at his church and stuff. Um, I think that actually did a lot for us. Like musically, we, you had to be able to sing it as a big group of people. Otherwise, it was a bad song. Because if it was just for one person, then it's like this selfish little thing that you're doing, and nobody can be a part of it. So you know, like songwriting-wise, we always, we always, uh, I think, just naturally try to make songs that people can sing along with. And uh, you mean and relate to or sing along? No, with sing along, <laughs> sing really along with. Sing yeah, yeah. Because in the States, you know, we, we started noticing that, like, everybody in the room was singing along with it, almost, like, to the point where we couldn't hear ourselves, you know. And uh, we're trying to figure out where that came from. And I think a lot of it's from, a lot of it's from church. But what, what, is, what is the secret then? Um, when, when do you sing along with a song? I don't know. I really don't know. We just grew up in church knowing the difference, I guess, between the songs that were too, like, too complicated or too hard or something. Or they didn't like people didn't relate to them or something, and then the songs that that everybody liked a lot and wor it worked. So I think we got a we got a church pop background. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, do you consider yourself also a, a Christian group? Um, no. I th I think there's a fear. No matter what your religion is, there's a, there's a danger in in making your band that. You know, if I'm Buddhist, I don't want to make a Buddhist band. I just want to make a band that people. You know, they like the music or they don't like the music. If they hear that I'm Buddhist and they don't agree with being Buddhist, then they don't listen to the band. That that doesn't work. So you know, like you know, the guys in the band are we're, we're Christians, but I think to make that um, like the label, the very first thing that you see, it's like if you're not a Christian, why would you listen to us? You know. So in America, there's a very stark division between Christian music and non-Christian music. And if you're non-Christian, you listen to non-Christian music. And nobody listens to Christian music that's not Christian. And it just, just didn't work for us. So. OK. Well, how does, uh, does, does the, the Christian community react <coughs> to your music? Do you, do you, are you accepted there? Now? Well, we weren't at first. We, we, uh, we weren't on the charts or anything, and people weren't really writing about us and stuff. And then I guess just in the last three years or, so, or I mean three months, uh, like they, they started putting us on the charts and like selling our records in the Christian bookstores and like asking us to be in the magazines and stuff. And it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> so you were first um, got big in, uh, you know? Uh, yeah, just normal, in, the, in the normal. Uh, <laughs> radio yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. And I thought it was the other way around. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. We, like um, two months ago, I think, my mom called me because she listens to Christian radio. And she's like, I heard your song. It's so weird. <laughs> and I was okay. like, very weird. 